Hello everyone, this is Tanushree and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my channel is all about easy learning kids activities and how you can teach your kids in a simpler manner. So now this video is all about multiplication. As soon as I shared on Instagram that I've introduced multiplication to my five year old kid, you all started asking me how I've introduced, what all things I'm practicing and you know how he has understood, how he's able to write tables etc. So now I've already shared on Instagram, I think four reels on how I introduce skip counting, what are the activity we are practicing for skip, skip counting, how I introduce multiplication, what is the activity we are practicing for multiplication. But still I've, I'm getting a lot of DMs on Instagram to make an elaborated reel on a, a multiplication. So here it is. So before we start this video, subscribe to my channel guys if you haven't subscribed till now. So the first step to introduce multiplication is to introduce skip counting. Now what is skip counting? Skip counting is basically addition where we keep on adding same number to get the answer. Now for example if I say 4, now you have to skip count 2. Keep on skip counting 2. That means 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. So we are doing skip counting over here. Okay, so let me introduce you with the help of number line. So to understand multiplication, we need to understand what is skip counting. So skip counting is basically addition of same number. Okay, so let us see with the help of number line, what is skip counting. So if I say that skip count 2, that means jump 2 times or add 2 okay so if i give a number of 4 like if I, if i give number 4 okay now you have to do skip counting 2 like you have to skip count 2 so what will be the answer let's see so if i go to number 4 and if if i jump two times one time and two time i come to the number 6 that means i've done 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 okay now if i am at the number 6 okay and if i have to do skip count 2 let's see 1, 2. So, I come to the number 8. That means 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Now, 8 plus 2 is 10. So, likewise, skip counting 2 means add 2 means jump 2 times. If I say skip count 3, okay, what will be the answers? Go to the number 4 and skip count 3. That means 1, 2, 3 I come to the number 7 so the answer would be 7 now go to the number 2 okay and skip count 3 that means jump 3 times so 1 2 3 that means I come to the number 5 which is now if I go to the number 1 and I do skip count 3 so 1 2 3 that means I come to the number 4 so, the, my answer would be 4. Now, let's see skip count 4. Okay. If I go to the number 2, go to the number 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the answer would be 6. Go to the number 6 and 1, 2, 3, 4. That means 10. Go to the number 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the answer would be 7. So, the first step is this, which is teach skip count with number line. Okay. So, once you're done with this, now, second step is to give problems directly okay but these problems you have to give with the help of sets you have to give set of plus one set of plus two and set of plus three because as of now kids only know skip counting so they would be able to count with the help of skipping that particular number again and again so on first day you have to give everything related to plus one for example plus one one plus one two plus one 3 plus 1 and likewise you have to give all the plus 1 numbers. So what will child do is child will mentally like for example there is no number line. So child will mentally do I am at the number 1 and I am going to jump 1 time. So 2. 
I am at the number two and I'm going to jump one time. Three. I am at the number three and I'm going to jump one time. So four. Likewise, he will finish this. For example, you give on, on the next day. Once child is done, plus one concept. Then you can go to the set of plus two. Where you will give one plus two, two plus two, three plus two and likewise. So, over here, child will uh, mentally go to the number one. And jump two times. Two, three. Go to the number two. Three, four. Three, four, five. So likewise, they will finish this. And similarly, you have to give one plus three, two plus three, three plus three. And likewise, they will go to two, three, four. Go to the number two. So three, four, five. Go to the number three. Four, five, six. So likewise, they will finish it, and uh, uh, slowly and gradually they will stop jumping like this. So they will mentally be able to finish this. So this is all about skip counting. Once you are done explaining your child what is skip counting, and uh, have you have explained multiple times using number lines, now give your child certain addition problems, which is only plus one like entire page is about plus one adding one okay that means one plus one two plus one three plus one four plus one let him practice that on first day then second day say plus two okay one plus two two plus two three plus two like that so what he is doing over here he is doing skip counting of that particular number skip counting one skip counting two Skip counting three and likewise you can move it move ahead till five okay initially and then once your child is pro in that that means he is able to jump on the numbers very quickly he he's able to add numbers very quickly and hence he'll be able to understand multiplication because then he'll be able to write tables with the help of skip counting okay now let's see how i've introduced multiplication to sarvam so because your child already knows skip counting now they will be able to attempt what is multiplication. Okay. Now let's see what is multiplication. Multiplication is nothing but number of items in a group multiply by number of groups. Let's see with example what I mean by this. If I give you these many balls, how many number of items are there in a group? Three. And how many groups are there? One group, two group. So two group. Three multiply by two they have to do. Uh, so they will write the total six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So initially they will do with this counting concept, okay, but gradually uh, they will move to, you know, directly doing it. Uh, so starting in starting, you have to, you know, bear with it that they are counting and doing it because it is new to them. The concept is new to them. They will uh, do slowly. Now, for example, I give the second one, which is this okay now how many balls are there in one group so in one group i can see two balls so two multiply by how many groups are there count one group two group three and four that means four group so the total number of balls that i see over here is one two three four five six seven eight eight correct so this is how to determine total number uh, after multiplication. But what is the step to know how to do this one? How to come to the multiplication part? Let me show you that. I'm giving you these two, uh, these things. Okay. So now how many items do you see over here? Two items. Okay. But how many groups are there? One group. So he has to say two ones are. Then I gave him this. You can see two balls in one particular group. So, 2 and how many groups are there? 2 groups. So, write 2. So, this is what is important for them to understand that how we determined uh, we came till here. This answer, they will gradually know with the help of skip counting later on that how we have come to this. But they should understand this multiplication part that how we are coming to this number and this number. Okay. So, this is one group, this is two group and this is three group. So, 
how many how many lollipops are there in one group three and how many groups are there three group so that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine okay now we have understood that how to determine this and this but let me tell you that how we will come to this with the help of skip counting okay so how many how many trees are there in one group two how many groups are there four groups how can we come to the answer without counting so this is two and you have to skip count two okay so two plus two is four four plus two is six six plus two is eight that means the answer would be 8. You keep on adding 2 with the help of skip counting. So over here, we are doing multiplication with the help of skip counting. Okay, this is why skip counting is important to know. The next step would be to know tables. A 5 year old already knows the tables of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10 okay so how we have come till uh, you know knowing about tables is uh, i have given him two ones are two twos are two threes are two fours are two fives are and likewise i've given him at the start okay now i told him that two balls are there one time only okay one time there is only one group of two balls so how many balls are there two like two balls are there okay but how many times two balls are there there are two set of two balls that means they would be four so this is one way of teaching another would be two on the number line and then skip count three four so two say hum four tak aise i jump karke which is four again four so five six again agar for example now we have to show with this method we have to show with this method, balls method. Two balls are there. But how many groups are there? Three groups. So it would be six. And likewise, you keep on adding balls and showing how. This is the way of showing how multiplication works. But the next step would be doing it with the help of skip counting. Okay. Now in the next step, you will not give these balls. And you will in the next time, like next time, what you will do is you will give like this. Uh, two ones are two. Okay. Now skip count two. Two, three, four. Four, five, six. Six, seven, eight. Like that, they will finish the entire table. And likewise, he has done three ones are three. Three twos are three. Four, five, six. Three threes are six, seven, eight, nine. So like that, okay, this becomes easier because they have practiced so much of, you know, addition at the time of uh, skip counting that they know uh, they are doing correctly and they are very confident while doing this, okay. So how I have introduced the table of 5, okay, I simply told him that if you do this with the help of skip counting, it would be tedious. 5 ones are 5. Okay, now 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. First, I, uh, you know, let him do this so that he knows that what we are doing. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, 15. Okay, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And you can see 5, 0, 5, 0. That means the next would be again jumping 5 times would be going to the number 5 at the end, which is 25. And going to the number that has 0, which is 30. Going to the number that has zero, uh, 5 over here, which is 35. So likewise, he understood the entire table. This is how we have also learned uh, during our childhood. And this is how I taught him. Now, how I introduce a table of 10. So in school, he is already doing the beat concept that, uh, that has been introduced in the school uh, to know about, uh, you know, how many 10s are there in 34. So they have to do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then they have to do 4 times. Okay. So, uh, so he knows that 34 because it has 30. So, 3 times 10 would be there. Correct. So, th this is what I have introduced. I have, uh, you know, made him do this particular 10 table. That 10, if 10 is only 1 times, then you will use only 1 time. This beats, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. 
but if 10 is 2 times, then you will do 2 times this particular bead, which will be 20, and then 3 times, 30, 4 times, 40, and this is how he got this entire table without even, you know, drawing these beads, he can do on his own now. So, yeah, this was all about uh, multiplication. So, this was all about multiplication. I have designed activities to practice skip counting, to practice multiplication. Uh, I am dropping link in my description box. Do check it out if you wish to buy. I hope this video was quite helpful to you guys. So, comment down and let me know which concept you want me to cover in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy parenting.